very angry. Look, it's my work phone. Because who would have thought running your own small business single-handedly would be a lot of work? I've been self-employed for a long time, way back in my musician days. And let me tell you guys, if you're self-employed out there, get a work phone. The hardest thing about being self-employed is like finishing work. If you're always reachable, people will try and reach you. But also, this is my backup camera. You've watched videos filmed by this and never even known it. But why am I very angry? Because it's dead. It's three months old and it's dead. Screen, boom, it's just black. The phone's still working. You'll hear it getting notifications going, but it but it I had to rush and buy a lightning to HDMI cable to hook it up to the telly to see what messages are on there. Because again, this is my work phone. It's really important. I tried every troubleshooting step, guys. I have to take it to Apple. It's cooked. So I needed a work phone really quick. So I just rushed to the nearest JB Hi-Fi, legged it straight to the cheapest phone section, and I was was delighted. It was just a beautiful wall of nuggets and look, suffice to say, I've bought a whole bunch of them just so we can yell at them in this episode. And for 79 bucks, mate, you can still buy a Nokia that looks like this. It is a proper old school Nokia because, yep, press start unlock. Oh! I still prefer the monochrome version, but yes, it has snake. So the neato thing about this guy is, it has 4G. This thing's gonna work for a really, really long time. Only thing is, this really is a dumb phone. Like, I haven't actually tried the games yet. Uh, so we've got Ninja, no wait, excuse me, Ninja uh, Up and Racing Attack. That's just called traffic. All right, let's try Ninja uh, Up. Oh. Oh, I'm doing it. I'm sorry, you need to hear this music loop. That won't get old at all. Wow. They really bothered with that one. And like, let's try Adelaide traffic. This is just traffic. Oh, the lines are making my head hurt. How they're moving a lot slower than everything else. Yes, it has a camera on the back. Hey, Frankie, are you being a cutie? Are you posing for your photo time? Hey, do you have anything to say to people? Or are you just gonna slink away and hide? Frank's choosing to slink away and hide. Zero point three megapixels. They're still making cameras like this. Look, the thing about old brick Nokia's like this nugget is that yeah, this guy is way less featured than this one. But this was built to be a good phone. Like it feels so satisfying to press the buttons. It's got a heft to it. It's made of really nice plastic too. Not all plastics are equal. This thing feels cheap and hollow and just yeah. Oh, those noises get so annoying. Well, there's only one way to know if it's a real Nokia, mate. Is it as strong as one of these? The answer is no, mate. So honestly, like that phone had no chance of getting my SIM card and actually being my backup work phone. But this one genuinely is a contender. You can still buy flip phones. Ah, oh, it's got the display on the outside. That's great. It actually looks pretty nice. This nugget was 129 bucks. Huge buttons on it. Like, I really like it. Here's a vintage Nokia from back in the day. And look at the screen size. Like, yeah, it's an old nuggety flip phone, but it's a little bit more modern in that regard. Now, I thought it was going to be pretty similar to the other Nokia until I realized this idiot has YouTube and Wi-Fi. It's, it's got a mouse cursor. <laughs> <laughs> All right, how, how do I how do I search? Can't deny that this is pretty tortured. Okay, there it is. Uh, over here. Oh, there. We, uh, oh yeah, man, I get the T9 type. D O N K P O D O S. Why did I make that two words? I'm an idiot. Go. Yeah, there's that horrible channel. Yeah, browsing on a flip phone. <laughs> oh, let's look at manky old phones on a manky phone. Don't watch this channel. It's terrible. Uh, she's a little bit laggy. <laughs> and the fact that this could do it over 4G data is hilarious. Mate, it's got a headphone jack. It actually has features that modern flagships don't have. And look at this, Google Maps. <laughs> Take me to Adelaide. Yeah, load. <laughs> No reviews for Adelaide. Yep, that sounds about right. Oh, I wish this had a touch screen. Uh, yeah, from the middle of the ocean. Yeah, direct me there. How do I get to Adelaide from the middle of the ocean? What? You d I can't cycle from there? Look, it's got Facebook, WhatsApp, an inferior version of Snake. I hate it. <laughs> Just simple Snake. Just 
right angles. Google search, it's got Twitter pre-installed, and that's really important because there are people out there who just don't want to deal with going onto an app store. The screen quality is okay, it's what you expect. There are some games on here, and I haven't played them yet. Let's do it together. Of course, these are all demos, you know, they won't give you anything. Okay, it's, it's just like 1942, the game, I think. It's the same games that have been out since like 2005 on phones, or even earlier, probably. Real football, see? Not that hand egg business the rest of us have. Yeah, what? <laughs> what? What is this? What is this? How is this football? How long's the pitch? Just collect all the trophies. See, this is why it doesn't catch on in the United States. This makes no sense. Did I like the game? <laughs> I can't answer no. <laughs> Danger Dash. Is this the same stinking idea? Ah, oh, tigers. <laughs> oh, wow. This is not running good on this phone. I'm going to be killed by the tigers. I've already been onto the store to grab a game for us, right? And I've saved this because I reckon this one's gonna be a ripper. I don't know if you're ready for the title of this one. Crazy Eggs. <laughs> it better be nuts. Like this better be out of control. An ad for Wikipedia. That's a very sensible ad for Crazy Eggs. Uh, wait, wait, what? Don't, don't tease me. Give me my Crazy Eggs. What? No. Oh, all right. Tutorial. Pfft. Like I need to know how to play crazy eggs. Okay. Whoa. Whoa! Ah! Ah! Oh! Crazy! All right, I'm overselling it a little bit. This is not. Yes, cheap glossy back that attracts fingerprints and of course, a camera. Frank, you're on a Nokia flip phone. Digital zoom. But you can barely make out a snooty booper. Uh, there you go. If you ignore the terrible games and like the, the YouTube and Google Maps is very very funny uh, I like how it looks and yeah, she's this one's in the running, but that's when I found another brand Opel this is an Aussie boy and it's also 129 bucks features a way bigger screen here. It's not as high res Yeah, look at these chonkster buttons. This is specifically designed for the elderly and like harder vision. I like these buttons. And look, dedicated flashlight. That is a good idea. Yes, it has a camera. Smile, Frank. You're on the Opel Flip Nugget. I think it's even harder to make out your snooty booper this time. And an SOS button. Are you ready for the most amazing bit though? Whoa, yeah! It's a touch screen and it is surprisingly fluid. So it's got some simple apps in there that you'd expect. Facebook, WhatsApp, you know, they're, they're staples, but nothing else really. And if you press apps, it just gives you this garbage. But the browser, yeah, baby, you can browse YouTube. <laughs> um, it's a lot crunchier and much harder work, <laughs> but it is doable. D A N K. P O D S. Look, a terrible channel. The touchscreen really helps. It works okay. Like, almost livable. The only problem is it tends to just freeze and stop playing. You've got to keep pressing play again sort of thing. Oh man, if it had an actual YouTube app, and I'm sure there's people out there who could get YouTube on this because I believe this is just a skin of Android or something. Actual super cool accessory that comes with it. A dock, like a charging cradle. <laughs> that is a pretty fiddly connector if you handshake a lot. And this guy, you could just slam dunk it in there to charge it. Yeah, like, I like it. And that's when I noticed for the exact same money, from the exact same company, you could get this. 129 bucks. And it's fun because it looks like a bootleg Galaxy S2. And then on the back, HTC. <laughs> I mean, it's like a crossbred dog, but like, you know, a crossbred smartphone. This is a big old screen for what you get. It's okay. Hey, it's got an actual proper YouTube app. Yeah, uh, it's a bit slow, right? <laughs> It's a little bit slow. When hooking this guy up for the first time, it was all in Chinese. Very interesting. It hooked up to Wi-Fi easily. It installed updates. I think it's Android Go. There you go, Giga RAM, 
8 gigs ROM. I'm guessing that means storage. It can only take a 32 gig card. You know, you've got to make them cheap somehow. 4G, yeah, Android Go. The speaker can be pretty tinny, but baby, it's got a headphone jack, so who cares? <laughs> only annoying thing is the screen keeps dimming all the time. Oh, there you go, or brightening up. It just kind of has a mind of its own. And even if you adjust it, it'll fight you <laughs> the whole time. And it's kicked itself off the Wi-Fi once. It's hard to get it into landscape. It's okay. <laughs> yes. It has a camera. Whoa, we're filming on the Opel Smarty Pants phone that I can't figure out how to zoom in on. Whoa, there we go. I don't know if you can make out Frank though. So it got me thinking at this point like, well, what if you spend just a little bit extra? What can you get? So for 169 bucks, nice price, from Nokia, the Nokia 1.4. Stupid name, but it has a headphone jack. <laughs> All these are outclassing modern phones completely. Dual cameras, look out, mate. Ooh, full screen Nokia. Can we zoom in on the Franklin? Yes, there she is. Fingerprint sensor, you bet. And it was a nightmare to hook up for the first time. It was, yeah, it was really, really clunky. Like an old iPhone 6 just mops the floor with this. It has like face ID as well, but it's nowhere near as sophisticated. Like on the Apple ones, you're like, you've got to move your head in all these directions and things. This guy literally just said, sit still. All right, you're good. And it's incredibly slow. I never bother with it. But look at this. The screen is gigantic. Curved edges and like the little hump there. That's pretty stinking amazing. You bet just got YouTube and all that. It's still a bit slow. <laughs> there you go. Come on, go on the landscape. Oh, I have to do it manually. <laughs> yeah, she's... She's a bit slow, but hey, it has a handheld TV content watching thing. The fact that I could just walk in same day and grab this, that's super cool. Uh, YouTube has crashed on me a few times. During the setup, it kept trying to sell me things. It was really annoying. And the backlight on this guy's all over the place as well. It just be going do, 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 do. But looking at smartphones like this, you know, this isn't the whole market because you could always buy used. And for 129 bucks refurbished, you could get an iPhone 6. And honestly, right out the gates, this thing is made beautifully. This wasn't designed to be cheap, it's just old now. A headphone jack! Oh look, a really out of date proprietary connection that should be replaced by USB-C a long time ago. It'd be really embarrassing if their latest phones were still using this. Setting this thing up for the first time was like a dreamboat. The Touch ID setup was just like a brand new phone. The screen is nicer, but install the latest updates and it's not bad. I mean, yes, it stutters a little bit loading YouTube and all that sort of thing. This one is so that's how you know it's an iPhone 6. It'll do 60 frames a second, 1080p. Yeah, iPhone 6 camera. Wait, could... Yeah, iPhone 6 camera. Hey, 1080, 60 frank. It is pretty dim looking, <laughs> but I think the quality's there. I mean, you know, a little bit extra light and like that would work really good. But this could do slow-mo as well. It's got iMessage and AirDrop. When these load Google Maps, it really stutters and stalls. And I find this guy just handles it that little bit better. I mean, it shows you how they get these at cheap is because they really do have the specs of an ancient phone. I think this guy just squeezes it out over these two. And it doesn't have to be an iPhone. I mean, go find a period time like, I don't know, like Galaxy or something, and it's gonna perform in a similar way. But the whole point of this video is me looking for a phone. So who's getting my SIM card? Well, you know, I don't want a manky old iPhone. And it's not gonna be either one of these because for my work phone, honestly, all I do with it is answer text and answer calls. That is it. And you know, and these could just be a little bit too clunky for me. I want someone to just flick, answer, hang up, which means it can only be between two boys. The Flip Nuggets. And it is so close. Cause honestly, while I think this is a cooler looking design, I like these buttons and layout, like having a dedicated flashlight button. That touch screen really makes it work so much better. This does have a better microphone, which is gonna be better for calls, but I love that this has a dedicated and working YouTube app and maps. That's too funny. Who's getting my SIM? It's this guy. And I'm looking forward to this because I finally have a phone that can share the same pocket as my keys. But damn, that was a close second place. I don't know, I'm still, you know, half and half on this guy right here. Well, 
that's it. Thanks so much for watching. Huge thanks to my patrons, especially these stinky names right here, because my $1 a month, I do extra videos. To give respect to this guy, for, I'm telling you, it was a really close second place. We're gonna do a whole video filmed on this. We smell the pixels, and we'll just struggle through it together. And I don't even know how I'm gonna mount this into my rig to even film with it, but that's my problem. So anyways, thanks so much, Janola. See you all next time. Frank, you look like discarded spaghetti. Like someone's just thrown it in a bin bag and just left it. That's you, Frank.